Hey, what's up guys? Wired Zero here. And recently I didn't incorporate the authorized.net payment gateway into my own custom CMS. And I thought, yeah, this would be a good idea for a tutorial video. Probably help somebody out. All right, so I'll include all the instructions and source files in the description below. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So what we will cover in this tutorial video First, we're gonna download the authorized.net SDK from GitHub, upload the SDK to our web server, or if you're using a local environment like XAMPP or MAMP, we can use that as well. Create a payment form page, copy example PHP code from authorized.net, and create a sandbox account to test. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and head over to GitHub and download our authorized.net SDK. All right, now let's open up a browser of choice and head over to github.com forward slash authorized net forward slash SDK dash PHP and click on the code button up here, the green button, and let's choose download zip. All right, now we're gonna unzip and upload the SDK to our web server or local environment, whichever one you're using. All right, now let's go ahead and go to our download folder. And we're gonna extract the zip file to the folder we'll be using to upload to our web server. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the SDK folder and I'm gonna move it to the folder I'll be using, which will be called Tutorial. And I'm gonna rename it Auth, just for the sake of this tutorial video. Now I'll be using Atom as my code editor, or IDE, with the remote FTP plugin to allow me to upload the SDK to my web server. All right, we're getting close. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create the form page that's gonna submit the billing information and the credit card info to authorize that. All right, so let's create a file called index.php and we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste the index page I have in the source code. So let's go ahead and paste that in. And that's basically gonna give us this page right here. Everything is gonna be pre-populated to make it easy and it should all work once we get this done. So let's go ahead and upload that file. All right, let's move on. Let's head over to authorize.net and grab our PHP sample code, which we're gonna modify. But I'm gonna show you this so we know what's going on. So let's head over to developer.authorize.net forward slash hello underscore world.html. All right, while we're on the page, let's go ahead and scroll down to step two and copy all this example code in this gray box. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new page and we're gonna call it payment.php. Now let's go ahead and paste that sample code right here. All right, let's modify this uh, sample PHP code we got from authorize.net. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the vendor forward slash before auto load. Okay, that's the first thing we're gonna take out and modify on this file. So right before the define authorize net log file, let's put the following in. So we'll just copy and paste. Again, this is all gonna be in the instructions. Um, basically, this is gonna grab all our variables from the index page, the form page that you copied and pasted in, that's gonna send it to this page. We're gonna capture all that data, all right? So we're gonna start with that. All right, now we're gonna remove everything after create the payment data for a credit card. So let's go ahead and take that out. And what we're gonna do, is we're gonna paste it right before if response exclamation point equals null, we're gonna paste this code in. Okay, and this is gonna give us all the information that we need to pass, all right? So this is another modification we need to make to this page. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now let's scroll down to where it says get response code equals equals one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste in over the echoes here, header location m equals one. And that's basically gonna take our refresh to our index page and say this transaction went through, okay? So now for the else, let's go ahead and paste in the same thing, but we're gonna give it a two and the same thing down here. Okay, we're gonna paste that in and we're gonna give that a two. Just telling it we got an error with the card. So we basically got this stuff working, let's move on and let's create our sandbox account. 
All right, now let's create our authorize.net sandbox account. So let's head over to developer.authorize.net forward slash hello underscore world forward slash sandbox.html. All right, let's go ahead and create our sandbox account. So let's go ahead and fill out the form. And all our form fields. Our developer type. Our job level. Our currency. Our password. I'm not a robot, and I accept the authorized.NET Sandbox account agreement. Login must be eight to 20 characters, so we'll do And let's create our account. Now it's gonna give us our appy login ID, so we wanna copy and paste that. So I suggest like opening a text file, and then it's gonna give us our default transaction key that we need. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that into a text file so we have it. Cool. So let's get rolling and let's test this stuff out and see if it works. All right, now let's go ahead and update our payment.php file. So let's go ahead and open that. And we're gonna replace your appy login ID with the login ID you pasted to that text file. And then we're gonna put our transaction key in right here below it. And go ahead and save that and upload that to your web server. And let's go ahead and test this out and see if it works. All right, here we are, people. Let's go ahead and test this out with the default values that we have in the index.php file, which is the basic form page that we have with the default values here, as you can see. So let's go ahead and submit it and see what happens. Payment accepted successfully. So let's go ahead and log into our sandbox account and see what happened. To view our Sandbox account, let's go ahead and go over to sandbox.authorize.net and log in with our username and password that we created shortly before. All right, now that we're logged into our back end of our authorize.net Sandbox account, which is gonna be much like the live production environment, we're gonna go down to Unsettled Transactions in your menu, and you're gonna see all the transactions that transpired, and it works. So if you click on your IDs here, you'll see all the information from the form is gonna go through, and that's how it works, people. That's integrating authorized.net with PHP in your own code. Peace out, Wire Zero.